I lie to my children a lot. And sometimes it's because the world is a dark and scary place and my kids just aren't ready for that truth. But more often, it's because lying to them is easy and fun. And I'm just a fundamentally bad person. So yes, I lie to my kids, and they're young enough that they're at that age where if they don't immediately receive contradictory information, they internalize it. And it is part of their reality until it's contradicted like decades later. Like they're gonna, they're gonna be 20 or 30 and then realize what a bad person I am. And then I will laugh a lot. And also probably never be contacted by them again. But you know what? When you're a parent, you just got to roll the dice sometimes. Uh, my most famous lie, I did a video about this one before, was when I told my kids that the tooth fairy was actually a giraffe. And that's how she got in through the window. She is stretched in her neck. But also if the windows were closed, there's a backup fairy missing an eye. She's like a fairy pirate who flies in through the vents and it's really small. And my kids took that to heart and I remember that forever. Even though there are other things I tell them about the world or just general good advice uh, that I give them from time to time that they ignore forever. If I need them to do things, if I explain why they need to help out around the house, if I explain why they need to eat healthy, they will instantly forget that information. But if I tell them a solid lie, they will remember that forever. So what I'm going to tell you now is, is the latest lie that I realize my kids have actually been remembering. It's a lie I thought that had gone out the window long ago. Uh, before I tell you, hit that subscribe button because I have so, so many lies to tell you about. And I would hate for you to miss them because these are great ways that you can lie to your own children. And working together, we can all make the world a worse but more interesting place. So months and months ago, the pig's over there moving around the water bottle. If you hear that, I don't care. I will not apologize for my tiny and adorable pig. Yeah, I hear you, Luna. I'm just going to get her. Hold on. Yeah. You want to do a video with me? All right. This video just got 100 times more interesting. All right. So months ago, my kids were asking me about birthdays and about how old I was. And clearly the implication was that I am getting old and falling apart. Probably will die soon. I don't know. Maybe that's not what I, they meant, but I, that's how I took it. I interpreted it that way. And then I dropped a bombshell on them. I actually am not 33. Because you see, when you're an adult, every year on your birthday, you have to say the birthday song, the super secret birthday song that no child is allowed to know. Okay, I'll put you down. Luna does not approve of me lying to my children. She'll learn. So, so I told them this, and they asked me, well, what's the secret birthday song? Well, obviously, I couldn't tell them the secret birthday song. See, if you want to advance in age, you have to sing the birthday song correctly, all the way through, no errors. But if you say it wrong, rather than getting a year older, you get a year younger. And we can't tell it to kids who are under the age of 18, because what if they start aging backwards? They go from 18 to 17, 17 to 16, on down. And what if they go to zero, from zero to negative one? They won't exist. Like, this is a high stakes thing. We cannot trust any children with this information. So I explain this lie to them in great detail and, um, and then I forget about it. And then a couple days ago, I hear them talking about it again, about the secret birthday song and about how I'm really only 32. Like this, this again is something they've internalized because there's nobody out there who's thought to contradict them, who's, who's come up to them and said, by the way, there's no birthday song that ages you backwards. Like the world doesn't even know to be on the lookout for that lie. And that's the really important part of a good lie. You've got to lie about something that nobody even thinks to contradict. Like there's no fact checking website out there that says yes or no. Is there a song that ages you backwards? It doesn't exist. I have entered new lie territory by accident and it's marvelous. How long can I keep this lie going? I don't know. My six-year-old believes it pretty completely. Like I actually did not remember all the details of the lie. So I had to ask her to repeat it back to me. And then I asked, well, do you want to hear the secret birthday song? And she said, yes. And I told her I couldn't because she wasn't 18, which was the age she had just informed me that I had told her she would be allowed to learn the birthday song. Should you tell your children this lie? Absolutely. Do it as a science experiment. See how long they'll believe it. I bet nine, maybe 10. I don't know. I don't know if my oldest daughter believes it. She, she's getting to that age where I think she doubts a lot of what I say, which is really a shame. So it doesn't mean I should be more honest. It just means I should lie more to see what slips through the cracks. Because that's really the key to good parenting. It's consistent, non, uh, non-stop, unrelenting dishonesty. You just got to keep it going. And sometimes the funny ones will slip through. And then that tiny moment of joy almost makes 
all the other soul-crushing moments in parenting worthwhile. And also, you know, just sing that birthday song backwards, because who wants to get older? You can be functionally immortal. Like, my kids have not really fully considered the implications of this. It's like, oh, I could stay a certain age forever. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, my uh, six-year-old did find a hole the other day. She said, what if you just don't sing the birthday song? And I said, then you stay the same age. You're stuck, which to her seemed horrifying. As, you know, to me, it's like, wow, that'd be amazing. I could be this age forever. And then I realized that, you know, my, my joints cre creak, and if I sleep wrong in bed, I can barely walk. And I go, oh, I should have stopped aging long ago. I really missed the boat on that one. If only I took the, the advice I say in my own lies. I should... I should really start writing them down. Anyway, that's the, the best recent lie I've told my children. Please hit that subscribe button because there is way more dishonesty where this is coming from. Catch you next time.